guys good evening and welcome to yet another wonderful session with us by juice i am aishwarya and today we are going to be covering the whole chapter that is food where does it come from right so this right here is a very simple chapter and i am so excited to meet all of you here hi Hello, hi Aditi, hi Shrijini, hi Sunidhi, hi Ayush, hi Anita, hi Shristi, hi Ad Advika. How are you all? I am feeling amazing, Shristi. How are you? Yes. Good evening. Yes, it's good afternoon. Oops, sorry about that. Thank you for that, Joy Deep. It's good afternoon. It's just four p.m. Right? How are you all feeling today? How was your day so far? What did you do? Yes. All right, Manav says this is his first session. Welcome to your first class, Manav. I'm Aishwarya, and I teach biology, and we are here to look at the important chapter that is food. Where does it come from? Yes, it was extremely good. Very excited. Yes, Ayush, I can see your excitement. Hi, Hemant. Good afternoon. Welcome to the class. Right. Yes, this is Aditya's first bio class along with Heman. So welcome. I hope that you will enjoy today's class. Yes, hi Alice. I can see this is Alice's first class as well. So I understand even Gungun is new to the class. So welcome. Hi Kushi. Welcome to the class. Yes, Joy Deep's cricket team has won today. Congratulations, Joy Deep. Right? Yes, Anita. I do remember you. I am amazing, Suman. So so far we have a good number of students here but hey go tell your friends also to join this class because we are going to be covering the whole chapter that is food where does it come from Yes hey month we are going to get started very soon right but of course before i get started i hope my audio my video and my screen and what i am writing on the screen is visible to you If it is, please do let me know, right? Send a lot of thumbs ups and stickers in the chat box. Yes, yes, we are going to get started. As long as you give me a good A, okay, that everything is perfect, right? Yes, all right, okay. Really excited, amazing, all right. And I can see some of you have got five of your friends here. That's brilliant. All the others, tell me that you know, tell your friends to come, right? And I do understand a lot of you are new to the class, and we have a Telegram channel where we post session updates, right? We have revision questions, session PDFs, and I do understand a lot of you are very young to join Telegram. So I would tell that you tell your parents to join on your behalf. You tell them that let them join and tell you about all the classes and what all is happening and all the important questions, quizzes, so that you can always be in touch with what we do. right okay all right shristi all right okay so now of course we do understand that a lot of you have schools that have started and sometimes you may miss out on the youtube lives right or you may miss out on some classes but to make sure that we have got you covered at all times we have some mini learning programs for you wherein you can choose your time slot where you can attend these classes and you can go for the smallest pack here that's just for 399 and you can check it out where some classes will be running you will have our wonderful teachers helping you out right of course i'm also there to always help you out right but you can do check this out yes all right aditya says this is his first academic session wonderful right no dhruvi we are just getting started and no today we will not be having menti right today we will not be doing it So very quickly let's understand what are all the important topics that we will be covering in our class today and if you have a notebook and pen ready with you it will be great so that you can write down all the important pointers some extra examples that I will be giving you Yes Shristi of course I remember you right of course I do So in our class today what we are going to be doing is we will be learning about the different topics that are there in the chapter food where does it come from right so we will learn about what is food right and the ingredients the food materials and sources some plant parts and animal products and what do animals eat yes everything is handy manav has a pen and notebook right yes make notes in brief yes ayush today is a one shot class which means we will cover the whole chapter today 
So before I get started with telling you about what is there in this chapter and what are, you know, what is all that is important, right? Very quickly, can all of you tell me what you all had for lunch today? I have had some chapati and I also had some, you know, vegetable curry that my mom made, right? So what did all of you eat for lunch? Let me know, right? Yes, I can see Santwana's first class with me. Welcome, Santwana. This is I'm Aishwarya, and we are covering the chapter Food. Where does it come from? I can see a lot of you have had rice and curry, right? Okay, I can see rice and paneer curry. Really delicious, Ayush. Rice and dal, Suhani has had. Dhruvi's also had rice and dal. Deepa has had rice and sambar. Amazing. A lot of you have had rice and spinach, rice and dal. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick list because I can see a lot of interesting things here. I could see rice and dal. I saw some rice and paneer there, right? Quickly, you guys can tell me. I'm going to write this down. I had chapati and ladyfinger. Mm, very interesting. I can, so I'm going to write this down quickly. Chapati and I can see, I'll write bindi ki sabji, right? So I'm going to put bindi here. Yes, all right. Okay, no issues, no issues. Hey, Mant, you can get your book. I'm just writing down some examples. Suhani has had dosa. Okay, Srishti has mangoes. Srishti, I hope you've had more than mangoes, right? Yeah, so I'm going to write it down anyway. Mangoes and I can see puri and curry. Very interesting to have puri and curry for lunch, right? Yes, Aditya has had a very interesting lunch. Thank you so much, Dhruvi. Chole and kulche. Okay, all right. I'm going to quickly write all this down. Alu puri, rice and potato fries. Yes, Gungun has had mango too. Mmm, idli. Chicken tandoori, all right. I can see a lot of delicious items coming on the chat right now. So I'm going to write this down. Idli, right? Idli, Santwana has had idli and sambar. So I'm going to count this out as one. Right? Rice and sambar. I think I missed that out. So I'm going to quickly write it down. Yes. And shall I also write down what I wrote, right? So here I had chapati with some vegetable curry. So this is what I had as well, right? Yes, all right. Okay, here I can see Ayush has pointed out something very interesting. That is the food that we've all had for lunch, right? It is so different from one another. Yes, we had some of us have had chapati, some of us have had rice and rice with so many combinations as well, right? So here, as you can see, there are various food variety. So this point here is very important to understand that just in our country, our wonderful country, India, we know that different parts of India have different kinds of food, right? And food is diverse or we find various food variety all over the world. Yes, so this is very important to understand. Now let's focus on, okay, let's take my example of chapati and vegetable curry, right? So this is what I have had for lunch today. Yes. So can any of you tell me how we make chapati? Very interesting. Very, you know, small words you can tell me. How do we make chapati, right? Yes, India is a diverse country with food variety. Very good. There are important food nutrients. Yes. Yes, Shrishti, this is part of the NCRT book. Very good, Mrinal. Every food or, sorry, very good, Srijani. Every food is made up of different ingredients, right? Yes. Hi, Alka. Welcome to the class. Very good. I can see the answer coming in. A lot of you are telling me dough. Some of you are telling me that there is flour, right? Atta plus water. Very good. So we add atta, then we mix it with water so that we get a dough. After we get it, what are we going to do? Spreading it and heat it. Yes, Dharmendra. Very good. After we mix it, we need to take the dough and we will spread it, no? We will take the rolling pin and we will spread it like this. Yes, make it fat on the stuff. Yes, cook it. Right. Good afternoon, Meghna. Good afternoon. Spread and heat. Wonderful, guys. You all know so much already. But I want to focus on a very interesting thing that I got here, right? Some of you told me that there are ingredients. So can any of you take a guess and tell me what do we mean by the word ingredients? Every delicious food item is made up of different ingredients. Very good, Santwana. Yes, very good, Srishti. Very good, Suhani, Alice, Aditya. Yes, in the end, we have to eat it, right? Yes, good evening, Aradhya. Good evening and welcome to the class. 
Wonderful. Manav says ingredients are materials that we use to make a dish. Yes, very good, Manav. I can see Aditya is also telling me things that we need to make food, building blocks of food, okay? Things that we need to make a dish. Yes, items that we need to cook food. Very good. Very good, Deepa. Very good, Dharmendra. Yes, all right. Raw materials. Amazing. Items needed to make food. It's okay, Deepak, not a problem. We just got started with food variety and we're learning about what are ingredients. Yes? All right. Amazing. So ingredients, like how all of you are, have told me, are items or food substances that we use to make food, right? Or to make cooked food. So in this case, as all of you have told me, very quickly on the chat, I want you to tell me what all would we require on the screen to make chapati. And I have labeled it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I need you to pick all of it that we need to make chapati. Yes. Can we all focus on the class here? Very good. Okay. Sanswana says we need to require food, right? Yes. All right. 4 and 6. I can see 4 and 6 coming. 4, 3, 6. Okay. Interesting answer. Right? Give me the number in the chat, right? You can quickly give me the number. I can see primarily I'm getting four and six. So yes, four and six are the answers. But I would like to commend the person who said three also because yes, we do add a dash of salt into the dough that we make, right? Okay, all right. Amazing. Yes, yes, of course. There is Heyman's. There are demo classes available. We will discuss about that. Link is there in the description box. Oil, salt, sugar, spice. Okay, amazing. So here we have discussed what all we would require to make chapati. But what about vegetable curry? Very quickly you can tell me what all would we require from the same ingredient list. Can you tell me? So I've again marked it as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I want you to tell me what all would we require to make a vegetable curry. Yes, very good Alice. By agriculture, we can get ingredients. Yes? All right. Okay. Cooking classes. <laughs> Interesting answer, Anita. Interesting answer. Yes. I can see 2, 3, 5 coming in. So that means vegetables, salt, spices. Okay. I can see Dharmendra is adding 1 as well. Okay, that means we need oil. I can also see a lot of you are telling me we need all the requirements. Do we need flour to make vegetable curry? Do we require flour? The wheat flour that is there or the atta, do we need it? Yes, very good. Very good creative minds. Very good Dibya Jyoti. We need 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. Yes. So in this case, of course, one thing that may not be moving is the one right here that is water. But we do require water to make the sabji as well or to make the vegetable curry so that it will cook, right? So a little bit of water or a dash of water we can add. And I could also see that before I started the class, some of you were telling me today, Ashwara, I might be cooking something. So if may not directly here, we are trying to figure out what we may use to cook, right? Okay, all right. Utkarsh is here and he's telling me flour. Okay, to make gravy. All right. Okay, yes, very good. So Meghna, if you have sent me a question, I think I have missed it out. And yes, for those of you who want to ask doubts, right, please do let me know in the chat box. Yes, you can tell me that you want to ask a doubt. I will make sure that you answer all your doubts. Because this chapter is very simple, but it is also very important. Right? So, so far, what have we done? We have identified the sources of, we have identified how there is various variety of food. And we have learnt about what are ingredients and what are the ingredients that go into food. Right? Are we clear with this very simple topic? Are we good to go? Yes, I know. It's been a long time, creative minds. Yes. Are we clear? I don't want to go ahead uh, if you have some doubts. Right? Yes, Aradhya, I will be covering that in just a bit. Right? Okay, I can see uh, Gurleen has a doubt. Shrishti has a difference between monocots and dicots. So, Shrishti, can I cover this topic after the class towards the end? Because this is a little different from what we are discussing today, right? So, will that be okay? You can just remind me in the end of the class. Okay, crystal clear. I can see a lot of questions that are coming in. Aditya, again, regarding what is chlorophyll. I will let, can I, can you just post these doubts towards the end? Because they are slightly different from what we are covering now. Yes. Today's all students are chef. Very good, Dimsi. Yes, all right. Okay. 
since it is all clear let us go on to the next part where we will learn about food material and sources now whether it was the wheat flour whether it was oil right or whether it was chapa, uh, you know whether it was the vegetables yes so in this case if you see we all learn we all see that we get these ingredients but the question is where do they come from right so can you tell me where do these come from it is very simple and easy no deepak we are just getting started right hemant we are getting started this is the next part of it right so very quickly very good dhruvi from plants and animals yes from plants and animals very good so here as you can see we see that food sources come from plants and some of these food sources come from animals so first up let us have a look at some of the important plant sources that are there so can you give me some examples of food ingredients or food that we get from the plants right can you tell me yes very good aradhya very good papya yes very good janvi plants and animals very good hemant yes very good sohani i can see vegetables right tomatoes beans potato fruits right carrot right so i i can see a lot of examples coming in so broadly fruits and vegetables i could see seeds as well right so here if i were to phrase it we have vegetables fruits cereals which includes your rice and wheat right then of course we have you know uh, further down we have rice and wheat and we have various other sources right very good dhruvi i was just coming to that right but water and salt comes from unique source very good so here as you can see we have water and salt which are neither from plants nor animals right so here as you can see these come from the nature which is why these are from nature or i would say natural sources are we clear yes bhavya i can see you right so are we clear with water and salt and are we also clear with the different kinds of plant based or plant sources yes all right sugar also comes from nature so dharmendra you would be surprised that sugar actually comes from plants right so we know that sugar cane is a plant from which we obtain our sugar and we also see sugar beets from which we get it yes salt is present in fishes right but fishes are present in the ocean right so which is why it's part of the nature yes your little chefs are feeling are clear with it amazing very interesting one alice all right okay so now then again when we talk about plant based food right we see that plants have different parts can you quickly tell me different parts of the plant in the chat can you tell me what are all the different parts that you know little chefs are hungry i understand we will we will be wrapping the session up very quickly fruity comments yes there are many edible parts very good hemant very good yes but before we get to edible parts i want you to tell me different parts of the plant that are there i can see root and shoot leaves fruit stem amazing i can see seeds as well very good shrishti yes all right okay so i feel like in this case we have flowers of course right i i'm just going to mark all the parts that you told me we have leaves we have fruits yes we have the fruits that you told me and inside the fruits we have seeds in them right and of course apart from this we have the stem and the root now one thing it's a very simple thing to understand that is not all parts of the plant can be eaten there are only some parts which can be eaten or consumed and that is good for our body and that is what we mean by the term edible right edible means the parts which can be eaten or that are eatable by us right yes aditya you can draw the diagram and label it i see dhruvi also has a very interesting comment that says session is more like a cooking class yes if you keep it that way session becomes very easy right very good hemant branches are also there but it's part of the stem right the stem bears the branches so i'm not separately calling out very good ayush e edible means eatable yes all right so now we will identify some of the edible parts of the plant and what we eat on a day to day basis right so first up if we look at flowers right some edible flowers that are there i am sure you would have all heard about cauliflower right some gobi manchurian when we talk about it that actually comes from the flowers they are edible flowers that are there 
and of course broccoli are some other examples of edible flowers and if you see the banana flower that is there right even the banana flower is an edible flower that is there so here what i would like to do right in this particular part especially because in you know in school or in exam sometimes if you have to make a project they may ask you for a lot of examples so i would like you to write down these examples yes all right so aditya has had banana flower okay we have pumpkin flower yes all right jasmine very interesting example mana not many people know about it right jasmine is also an edible flower and of course you know in a lot of uh, places they also sell another kind of flower which is chamomile okay gurleen says it is not clear okay gurleen i will explain this once again now we know that there are various food items that we eat that we get from the plants right we have fruits and we have vegetables right now in these vegetables if you see some of them are actually edible flowers they are flowers of the plant which we can actually eat now we cannot eat all the flowers that are there there are only some which are eatable right that are safe for us that are good for us and we call this as edible parts so some example of edible flowers that are there are cauliflower and broccoli i hope that this is clear and i also saw one interesting thing which says sunflower right so if you see sunflower is actually not an edible flower but we actually use the seeds of sunflower yes we will get to that yes all right lotus very good that's also a very interesting example drumsticks yes okay very interesting one sunflower oil all clear good to go now let's move on to some edible leaves can you tell me apart from these two that you see we have spinach and cabbage which are some edible leaves right so can you tell me some other examples of edible leaves in the chat yes all right all parts of banana are edible all right grass okay so satish grass will not be edible we cannot really eat the grass right not for us at least so we will not consider that okay i can see mint very interesting example we have mint we have cabbage right these are also edible yes coriander very good very good we have coriander then we have tulsi very nice examples lettuce very good curry leaves amazing guys amazing work yes drumstick leaves okay all right i'm going to write down the important ones pudina okay pudina is again neem dhruvi i mean i'm sorry pudina is mint right okay all right amazing swapna i think i have missed out your messages very sorry about that neem is also there okay i can see a lot of them coming parsley all right parsley actually if you see we will not um we will consider this under leaves right sorry about that i got a little confused there we have parsley i hope the spelling is right okay how do you say coriander in a different way um coriander i think uh, in terms of pronunciation is that what you are asking me very quickly can you tell me deepak okay tulsi heels cough yes very good yes okay deepak please tell me what is the doubt very quickly all right so here you have given me ample amount of examples for edible leaves very quickly we will move to some fruits this is super easy parsley is just a kind of you know garnish that we use right so it's just an edible leaf that we use in some food items nothing more okay sasvita very sorry about that right very sorry okay oranges yes papaya mangoes yes this should be easy for all of you no problem akanksha no problem so mangoes apples papayas pumpkin strawberry oranges pineapple whoops so science here uh, science fly here tomato actually all yes tomato is a fruit very good watermelon right garnish is what you put at the end right like how we sprinkle coriander at the end of it that's what we call as garnish okay jackfruit amazing so many examples here i am sure that you guys have got this right kiwi is amazing anita actually surprisingly not all fruits are edible most fruits may be edible but there are some fruits which are actually not good for us so it's not right for us to believe that all fruits are edible okay all right okay i can see amazing examples coming on the screen now we will move on to the next part where we talk about seeds right some edible seeds that are there right no issues hey month no issues you can come back and watch it right 
Yes, blueberries, I have coconut, dragon fruit, amazing, so many. Gram seeds, okay, blueberries, all right. Rajma, grains, yes, dal. Very good, Anmol. Very good, Anita. Yes, mustard seeds. Okay. Now, we also see that if we use these seeds, right, especially with mustard, sunflower, right, if, if you actually, you know, take it to the industry and, you know, there's a lot of processes which are involved, but the oil that we use, right, the sunflower oil, the mustard oil, we actually get all of this from seeds. That's actually very interesting because apart from rice and, you know, say uh, kidney beans that we directly cook and eat, in some cases, we actually, you know, either process the seeds to get oil or sometimes in the case of wheat and all, we will make it into powder and get atta, right? Yes, soybean. Alice, uh, Alice, I missed your doubt, so very sorry about that. Right, oil can be made from plants and animals. Very good, yes. So many examples of edible seeds, so I am pretty sure that you've got a good understanding about this. And now we will move to some edible stem. Right, so very quickly, can you tell me about some edible stems that are there? Yes, all right. Can oil be made by leaf? So it depends, right? But most often we use seeds to extract oil because all the oil that is there, right, actually gets stored in the seeds. That's why we get it. I know so many examples. Very good Dharmendra, lotus, right? Lotus stem is actually edible and a lot of people eat it. Green onion, okay, sugar cane. Yes, we just learned about it. So from sugar cane, we get sugar. Carrot and radish are actually not stem, right? It is not the stem, but rather it is the next part we will discuss. Very good. Potato, colocasia, very good. Yes, all right. So here, as you can see, potato is here. We have ginger as well, right? Garlic, very good. Garlic and onion. Yes, very good. We also have bamboo, right? Bamboo shoots, yes? All right. Why oil is stored only in seeds? That's actually a property that is there, right? Uh, right now, we're not going too much in detail of it because that's something you would learn in your higher grades, yes? I hope I've answered your question, Suhani, right? Okay, all right. So, in this case, it depends, right, whether we have oil stored in it or don't, right? But from rice, we may not be able to make oil. All right. Drumsticks, very good. Yes, panda, bamboo. Very good, Aditya. Celery, very good. So, I'm going to write that down as well. We have celery, right? So, these are some examples. Yes, carrot grows underground. Carrot does grow underground and if you see potato here also grows underground. But potato here is a modified stem. Yes, so I'm specifying this modified stem. Yes, all right. We will not be able to eat bamboo, but bamboo can be cooked, right? So in some places, right, in the world, they tend to cook these bamboo shoots, right? So it, you cannot eat it raw, but if you cook it, you will be able to eat it. Very good, Utkash, potato is there right there are some people who do consume bamboo in some parts of the world right okay all right so we are clear with this yes now we will move on to roots that are there right so radish carrot and turnips beetroot they are all examples of edible roots and we also have sweet potato which is different from the normal potato that we eat right sweet potato is an example of a modified root which is edible yes very good all of you very good anita onion again will go in under stem right i hope i've got that clear okay all right so we are clear right with edible parts of the fruit are we clear with edible parts of the plant and all the examples that we have looked at. Yes, turnips. Very good, Ritisha. Very good. Okay, all right. If we are clear, you can let me know very quickly. Crystal clear. That is amazing. Okay, some more examples. I have carrot and radish, but we also have beetroot. Right, and we also have, there was one more that we discussed, which I'm forgetting. Yes, turnip and sweet potato. All right, so many items. I hope all of you have made a note of these examples, right? Later on, these examples will come handy for all of you. Okay, so very quickly, to recall, we learnt about different parts of the plant and we learnt about their edible parts as well, right? Very good, Kushi, Papia, Utkarsh, yes? 
All right. Okay, that's amazing, Aditya. I hope that learning this chapter helps you for your test. Yes, Janvi is telling that we're good to go. Okay. All right. So now very quickly, let us move on to some animal based products that are there, right? So we learned about plant parts, right? And we learned about different edible parts. Now we will learn about some animal based sources which are there. Deepak, I think I have missed your doubt. So can you very quickly send it to me once again? Yes, very good Aditya. Eggs. Yes, all right. I can see eggs. Some more examples which can be there that you can tell me about. Yes, very good, Gun Gun, very good. Eggs, meat, milk, very good. So these are the three primary ones that I am sure all of you will be able to get, right? We have milk, eggs, meat, right? And these are all some animal-based products that are there. Now very quickly, right, from these four that you see on your screen, can you tell me which are all the animal-based ones? Quick activity because we've been discussing so much, right? So can you tell me, we have one, two, three and four. What are all the animal based products that are here? Because I will talk more about these animal based products once after we discuss this. Yes, all right. Very good, Suhani. Very good. Yes. So now most often we may think that curd, cheese and butter are products that are derived from milk. But we also have honey here that is an animal based product. So now when we talk about milk, right, we know that milk is something that we get from cows, we get it from buffaloes, goat milk, so much is there. Yes, and we see that there are many milk based products, which means from this milk, we tend to get cheese, we tend to get curd and we will get butter. But most often when we talk about things that we get from animals, right, or food that we get from animals, we often say there is egg, there is meat and there is milk. But what we always tend to forget is honey, right? Because honey is something that we get from what? We get it from bees. Very good, Ayush. It's an animal product, right? And we know that from the bees we get it. And the way bees make honey is very interesting. Let me know in the chat box, right, after the session gets over, in the comment section, let me know if you want to know more about how bees make honey, right? So it's very interesting about how they exactly do. Yes, they have some good medicinal value. They have a good nutritional value also. A lot of important nutrients are there. Yes, I want all of you to focus on the class. Yes, all of you focus here on what we are talking about. Very simple class, right? Very simple topics. Very interesting also. Milks from cow. Very good. Bee ma they make honey with flour. Very good. Yes, milk is a balanced diet. Deepak, I think I've missed your doubt once again. Very sorry. Can you send it to me now? Yes, all right. Okay. So very quickly, if you want to know more about it, do let me know. But then again, are we clear with what is animal based products? What are all the examples and how we have some products that we get from milk? Are we clear with this? Very quickly in the chat box, do let me know. Yes, curd or the he. Very good. Very good, Dibya Jyoti. Crystal clear. All right. Okay. Kamal Ka Kakdi. I'm sorry, Deepak, I don't know what that is actually because I don't follow much of it. So I will get back to you on it. Don't worry. All right. Alka, again, I'm missing out because there's so much of chat running. So if you have doubts, please do let me know, right? Please do let me know. Very good, Shrishti. Very good. Yes. All right. Chef is clear. Amazing. So we are clear with how we have some plant-based, right? So we have some plant-based products or plant sources. So we have edible parts of the plant that we consume. Then of course we have animal-based products, right? So we have milk, meat, eggs, and we also have various milk-based products such as curd. We have, you know, even ghee and butter and paneer that is there. All of this is animal-based and especially milk-based products. So now very quickly, we're going to do another question so that we can recall your memory on this. So now what we need to do is to sort the items based on their source. So first up, we have these options given to us. Can you tell me which are all the edible roots here in the chat? Yes, smooth like butter. Okay. All right. Very quickly, can you tell me? Yes, Utkarsh, please answer. Let me know what will come in roots. Right, we will do poll questions very soon. 
I want you to tell me what are all roots. So we have ginger, broccoli, turnip, lettuce, orange and rice. Okay. I can see ginger coming. Ginger is a stem, right? Ginger is a stem. So turnip. Okay, we have turnip as one of the answers. So is turnip there? Yes, very good all of you, very good. Turnip is a root, right? And it is an edible root. Next up, can you tell me which is a stem here? We have six options and six up here as well. So it should be very simple, right? So can you tell me which are the, which is the edible stem? From the options that you see on top. Amazing guys, amazing, right? So ginger is an edible stem. Very good. Yes, now tell me quickly what is an edible leaf here? We have broccoli, lettuce, orange and rice. Orange is a fruit. Very good, Joydeep. What about the others? Yes, I can see Aditya has answered super quickly and told me lettuce followed by so many of you. Amazing. So here as you can see, the lettuce right here is the edible leaf that is there. So we need to focus on this part, no? Now next up, flower. I can see the answer on the screen. Dharmendra has told me. Ayush has given me the answer. Aditya has again given me the answer. Very good, Sohani, Joydeep, Dimsi, Suman, Nisha, Arshnoor, Papya, Anita. Very good. Here we can see broccoli is an example. Now I'm sure a lot of you have already told me about the fruit, right? As you can see here, orange here is an example of a fruit right yes very good Utkarsh very good all of you yes I can see the answer coming in which leaves us with nothing but rice that is a seed right and rice is something that we'll have to cook first and then consume so now with this we have looked at the major part of the chapter very quickly we will move on to the last part of it which is a very simple part and we will understand what do these animals that are there that they will eat so here we have three options, right? So here we have some plants, right? We have some meat here. Yes, and then of course we have plants plus meat. Now what do you guys think? Do you think animals will eat only plants? They'll eat only animals? Or they'll eat both plants and animals? What do you guys think? Yes, all right. Alka says both. Dharmendra is saying only third, right? Yes, okay. Animals who eat plants are herbivores. Okay, I can see the answers. Plants plus animals, right? Okay, I can see science fly has got the answer. Very good, Aditya. Yes, very good. They eat all. So animals means we're talking about a big group of things, a big group of, uh, you know, organisms, right? We have animals which eat only plants. We have animals which eat only meat. We have animals which eat all the, which eat both plants and meat. Yes. So with this basic understanding, let's understand what are they called and we'll start with a simple example. Because understanding with examples always makes learning easy. Yes. Okay, Joydeep, let's focus on the class. Okay. Here we have a cow on the screen, right? So what do you think cows mainly eat? Can you tell me? Ma'am, there's a lion behind you. Okay. <laughs> You never know. There's not any line right now, right? Herbivores, all right. Yes, Gurleen, tell me your doubt. All right, okay. Cows eat grass. Very good, right? Cows eat grass. And they feed on only grass and they do not feed on anything else, right? So animals which primarily feed on only plants, right? So I'm going to change this to feed on only plants are called as herbivores. So we have rabbits, right? Giraffes, which are all some other examples of herbivores. Herby. So herb here means plants. Vores is with reference to the kind of food that they eat. Herbivores is what we call as organisms or animals that feed on only plants. Are we clear with this? Yes. Deer will also eat only plants. Very good. Goats. I'm going to write all these examples down. So we have goats, we have deer, right? Yes, of course, we have the rabbits. All right, okay. Yes, Gurleen, I think I missed your chat. I am so sorry about this. Yes, let's focus on the class. Yes, elephants. Very good, very good. 
Okay, so in this case, if you see, this is what we understand as herbivores. And you told me that there are goats that feed on only, you know, plants and goats are also herbivores. But sometimes if a tiger comes in the goat's way, we often see the goat running away, right? Yes, very good. Pandas are also there. Now, why is it that first and foremost, the tiger is chasing the, you know, chasing the goat that is there and why is the goat running away? Very good, Satish. Very good, Alka. Yes, all right. Very good. They are carnivores and tigers eat only meat, right? Or you can say that they eat the flesh of other animals. So tigers, lions, leopards all come under another category known as carnivores. Yes, and we see that they feed on the flesh or the meat of other animals and we call them as carnivores. Very good. Yes, very good. Yes, there's a tiger right next to me. Cheetah. Yes, all right. Cheetah is there. Leopard is there. Right, so many. Yes, product example, but we get only milk and we make, ha, huh, very good, Ritisha, very good, yes. Lion, yes, lion is the most ex common example, right? Okay, all right. So this right here is very simple, right? These are carnivores. Then lastly, what about us human beings, right? Yes, of course, you know, there are some humans that eat only plant-based food, some which eat both plant and animal-based food. But naturally, if you see, what do humans eat, right? Or what does, I would say, humans or say animals like bears eat? Yes, very good. We are omnivores. And why are we omnivores? Because naturally, if you see, we have the ability to eat both meat and plants. But of course, by choice, we see that there are some people who eat only plant-based food, some which eat both, right? But in the nature and biologically, we are categorized as omnivores along with rats. We have, you know, bears. They're all considered to be omnivores, yes? All right, yes, that's what we call as vegetarians who eat only plant-based foods, food and that is a choice that is there, yes? All right, okay. So in this case, if you see, we've learned about how we have carnivores, omnivores and herbivores. And very quickly, I have another question for you. So here, as you can see, we have some animals on the side and you need to identify which all come under herbivores, carnivores and omnivores, right? So we have rat, lion, bear, wolf, elephant, giraffe, and we have a rabbit. So very quickly, can you tell me the answers for this in the chat box, right? Yes, um, omnivores are organisms that eat plants and animals. Very good. Elephant is herbivore. Okay, giraffe, rabbit. We also have elephant. Yes, so we have giraffe, which is a herbivore, right? Okay, we have rabbit. I can see a lot of rabbit coming in. Yes, and we have elephants. So these three are what? They are herbivores. Next up, we have carnivores and I can already see the answer. We have lion. Very good. Very good all of you for guessing the herbivores correctly, correctly, right? Yes, lion is carnivore. We also have wolf, which is a carnivore, right? Very good, Alice and Suhani. Very good, Suman. Very good, Papya, Dharmendra. Very good. Leaving us with rats and bears, which are considered to be omnivores. Right? So with this, we come to the end of today's class and we have covered the whole chapter. Right? And I did get some very interesting questions in the beginning. Right? About what is chlorophyll. Now chlorophyll is nothing but a green pigment that gives the green color to the leaves. And for Srishti who had asked me what is dicot and monocot, they are just two kinds of seeds, right? And we will learn more about what is dicot and monocot in our channel, the very own 6 to 8 channel. But we just need to understand that they are two kinds of, uh, two kinds of seeds that are there. Are we clear with food? Where does it come from, right? Are we clear with this? I want a lot of emojis and a lot of, you know, smileys coming in in the chat box, right? Yes, I do know that some people are vegans who don't eat any animal-based product, right? So here very quickly, I have a homework question for you, which you can let me know in the comment section. Do you find that all living organisms need the same kind of food? You can let me know in the comment section after today's class, right?
Yes, all right. We will not say flora product and fauna product. We will just say animal and plant based food. So this right here is the homework question that you have. Do let me know after today's class. And our next class is going to be tomorrow. Where we are going to have a blindfold challenge with two other very super amazing teachers who are going to be taking up this challenge with me. Where they need to guess the food item. So don't miss this session. It is going to be amazing tomorrow at 4 p.m. And of course, quick reminder on you can try out some of the mini learning programs at Baiju's classes. Because you know that the 6 to 8 channel has always got you covered. To show our love to us, please make sure that you like this video, tell your friends about it, tell them to come for tomorrow's class and subscribe to our channel, right? Yes, I can see a lot of you are already telling me Ankita Mam is going to come. You never know, right? You never know. Yes, and for those of you who are asking me for the free trial classes, they are there or the link is there in the description box. Thank you so much for being a part of today's class. I had a lot of fun today. I hope you did too. Hoping to see you very, very soon again. Bye-bye and have a nice day.